Hi, welcome back. I'm Professor McAllister, and today I'm going to teach you about the different reference materials, specifically the dictionary, a thesaurus, appendix, almanac, and index. Let's start with the dictionary. Most of us are familiar with dictionaries. We use them to look up the meaning of words. Most of us use uh, the dictionary on the internet now. But on the T's, they will ask you which of the following resources would be used to look up the meaning of a word. They don't say definition, and I think that's part of the trouble for students. They're looking for that word. So if you get it, a question about where would you find the meaning of the word panda? No matter what the word is, you will choose a dictionary. What makes it even more confusing is that the choices they offer you will look so familiar to you and so you'll be confused by them, which is why I'm going to go through the rest of them with you now. Now I want to talk to you about the thesaurus. A thesaurus is a book of words that have similar meanings, also known as synonyms. It's useful for varying word choice, which means so you don't use the same word over and over again in an essay. For example, did you know there's over 100 different ways to say the word said? So if you find that you have written the word said, for example, three times in the same paragraph, you can use a thesaurus to find better words, different words, such as insisted, demanded, reported, suggested. When I taught English, I told my students they were in college now, and I did not want to see a lot of four-letter words in their essays. I encouraged them to use a thesaurus so they would not lose any points. Now let's talk about an appendix. This is not an anatomy question. An appendix is, is supplemental information that appears in the back of many books. For example, if you were reading a book about global warming, Appendix 1 might include a list of the top five emission-producing countries. Appendix 2 might have a bar graph reflecting the amount of emissions from these countries, and so forth. I'm not positive, but I don't think appendix is ever the correct answer on the T's. Okay? Now let's look at the almanac. The almanac is a book slash calendar. Many people used them years ago to determine when to plant their crops, when to expect the first frost. And some people still make those decisions based on the predictions of the almanac. The almanac is also useful for determining when the next high tide will be, the phases of the moon, or if there's going to be a solar eclipse. Where would you find the solar eclipse information? In the almanac. Lastly, I want to talk to you about the index. There's a good chance you'll see index questions on the T's. The index is in the very back of the book. It's similar to the table of contents, but it's much more specific and it's much more detailed, and it includes page numbers. Making sure you know the difference between these different reference materials will make part of the testing easier for you. It's important that you know the difference between these different reference materials. Doing so will help you get through the test more quickly. On my next video, I'm going to show you examples of these reference materials as well as practice questions so you could see what kind of question you might actually have on the T's. I think you'll find it very helpful. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you found my video helpful, please indicate it by hitting the like button. You're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell 
icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos. Thank you.